Hey, what's up there fellow citizens of the internet? My name is Moses and you're watching this on Red Blue. So we have now officially entered the age of drone photography and videography. Um, and the battle has never been more real. If that is not evident to you yet, um, just look at the battle between the DJI and the GoPro. GoPro released the GoPro Karma and DJI released the uh, DJI Mavic. Needless to say, these two products are aimed at different audiences. With the Karma, you have the potential to remove the camera and substitute it with another camera. Chances are though, you will be using the GoPro 5 or any other GoPro that you already have. With the Mavic, you do not have that option. With the Mavic, however, you do have everything that's in the DJI 4 into the Mavic. So it really just comes down to what you are really looking for and what are you most comfortable using. So for instance, if you would like to switch cameras and not be bound to uh, one camera and one sensor, then obviously the Mavic is not for you, but, 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 but if you are into uh, the DJI products and you like their products and you know how they work and you're familiar with them, then the Mavic is definitely for you. But if you would like another option, the DJI Phantom 3 Professional is a good one to consider as well. Now, I do have a friend who owns the DJI Phantom 3 Professional, and we went out there in the field and took some shots, and by the end of the day, I realized that the Phantom 3 Professional is a much better alternative. Now, I'm gonna let my friend Eric, who owns the drone, to kind of explain to you a little bit about the Phantom 3 Professional. All right, so we got the Phantom 3 Professional. Um, this will run you about $1,300 when brand new. I think it's down to 1,000 now that the Phantom 4 came out. Um, it's got 4K camera, 3 mile radius, light bridge uh, technology, and um, it's a great drone. Myself, I'm a filmmaker um, for weddings, stuff like that, um, and events around Michigan and, and all over the country and stuff. So I'll use it for basically an opening shot, you know, a different shot that normal videographers and companies don't really incorporate in their videos. Um, it really makes it nice for, um, to be able to see a different perspective. Of, of an event or the subject. So this gimbal here is three axis gimbal. So no matter what angle you bring this drone at, this, this motorized contraption is gonna keep it, the camera straight up and down no matter what. I got into it because I was just interested in, in flying and I'm in training to be a pilot, pilot and stuff like that. Um, so I, I did love the, the dynamics of flight. Um, and then I got into really into photography and videography. So to be able to incorporate those two things was, was really cool. Um, there's a lot of amateur uh, videographers and just people that likes doing action sports that to be able to have a drone and get their footage and their, their action, their sport um, in, a different, in a different view that's, in my, pers my idea, amazing. Um, to be able to get that shot, that's really cool to have and I think that intrigues a lot of people. Yeah, go on YouTube, um, Instagram, follow me at eric.dimmick on Instagram and ericdimmick on YouTube for behind the scenes videos and awesome photos of my adventures and travels around the country. Now, as you can see, the professional is not a bad alternative. That is assuming that size and portability is not your biggest concern. The Phantom 3 is by no means antiquated. And as you can see from the shots that I took, well, that Eric took, it still delivers some stunning footage at high frame rate, 4K footage, and some seriously, seriously stable shots. And if you'd like to see some of those cool shots, go on over there to Eric Dimmick's channel to check those out. My name is Moses, you've been watching this on Red Blue, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.